See if the light bulbs became popular as a replacement to incandescent light bulbs in the 1990s and have steadily gained popularity ever since. But LED light bulbs in the last couple of years have really come on in a big way. When we're talking about comparing CFL and LED light bulbs, we're really only talking about one type, the A series, the regular household shape. CFLs never really lent themselves to the other types of light bulbs like MR16s or PARs or BR lamps. The original incandescent A19 light bulb was 19 eighths of an inch wide. The CFL and later on the LED A19 were designed to replace it. So they have more or less a similar size and all share the same screwing base to fit into existing light fittings without trouble. When you're comparing light bulbs, you'll find both the lumens and the wattage labeled on the box. Lumens is the total amount of visible light a light source produces, while watts is the amount of electricity it draws when turned on. The higher the lumens per watt, the more efficient the light bulb is. Both CFLs and LEDs are pretty good at turning electricity into light. They both produce about 60 to 80 lumens per watt, which is about four times better than the average incandescent light bulb. That being said, a CFL of 15 watts installed in your ceiling will usually be replaced by an LED of only eight watts. About 50% of the light from a CFL is trapped in a can light and can't make it out. That's because CFLs emit light in all directions whereas LEDs really just point their light down. Most of the time, for ceiling down lights and can lights, this is a benefit. But sometimes, in some less common light fixtures, you'll want light in all directions, like in this hanging pendant light or in a floor lamp. Replacing one CFL of 15 watt with an LED of 8 watt will mean about $1.50 a year in electricity savings. LEDs are claiming lifetimes of about 25,000 to 50,000 hours and CFLs of about 8,000 to 20,000 hours. Basically, LEDs last about three times longer than CFLs. But to put that in perspective, an average light bulb in a home is only used for about 1,000 hours a year. Light quality has two aspects, color temperature and CRI. Color temperature of your CFL or LED can range from a soothing extra warm white to neutral white to cool white light. You may have seen the terms 3,000K, 4,000K, etc. These let you know what color of white light you'll be getting. LEDs and CFLs these days offer you the same range of choice for color temperature. Color temperature is important because it's easily the most noticeable thing to our eyes. Color quality or CRI refers to how well a light source reproduces the colors of the rainbow to the human eye. It's compared against a perfect light source like the sun and given a number out of a perfect 100. Both CFLs and LEDs offer CRI in the 80s these days. Interestingly, incandescents, as inefficient as they are, score a perfect 100 for CRI. But honestly, the difference between light bulbs that score a CRI in the 80 and others with a 100 is pretty hard to notice with the eye. An LED light bulb is about $10 these days, while its CFL equivalent is about $4. The difference in price used to be a lot more. CFLs contain hazardous mercury and are dangerous if broken inside the home. CFLs are made of glass and more fragile than LEDs that are made of aluminum and acrylic. CFLs can take a while to warm up. LEDs are instant on. CFLs are difficult to dim. LEDs are much more suited to dimming. CFLs emit a lot of ultraviolet light. UV light has been shown to cause headaches and skin irritations. I hope that was interesting everyone and I'll see you next time.